Well, commodities are shorts, not longs in quad four. This is kind of sort of a tough one to answer, but is it possible that some food commodities may trade higher as conditions get worse in China with some supply constraints? I mean, I don't know if you're- Could are be. You, are you seeing anything in, <coughs> excuse me, any of the food commodities that suggest yeah. there's something fundamental? I, th I like, think, is, well- like, is there a we never start, and it annoys people, but I don't particularly care if I annoy people because people always start with supply and demand. We start with the quads, right? So something like sugar, which has had horrendous supply dynamics for a long time, and I bought it anyway because I, I like commodities, right? I don't like sugar. I like the asset class, and the signal said buy sugar. Maybe because everybody's short sugar on supply. Get it? See, oh, you just have to think about things a little more differently. Um, and, and look at sugar, sugar, by the way, after this epic run that it had, CFTC futures and options contracts, sugar is actually uh, the most overbought uh, relative to itself of all net long positions. See that? Sugar, where it says the little red arrow there, Jonesy? Yeah. Um, so, so what this, this is telling you is that this is the positioning of the market. Wall Street, where those green arrows, I'm putting them in green, i.e. that's good for us, because Wall Street is still short treasuries across the curve, because guys like Gunlack continue to cry in their soup about it. Uh, and then you got people, the street's not nearly bullish enough on the dollar, and then they're too bullish on sugar. So sugar was really like the last thing that, I, that, it, that held up from a trend signal perspective in commodities that I've been long. Um, but I've sold that too. I sold that last week. Um, so again, I have zero commodities. I'm not going to sit there and say, well, I'm going to get really super fancy about my supply views on certain commodities. I'm going to buy them here. Why would I do that? Look at the correlation between the dollar and gold, for example, right now. Uh, I don't know if your Genron's got that. But gold, which is not a commodity, has a 72% positive correlation with the dollar. See that? Whereas the CRB index has a negative correlation with the dollar. So that's another way to think about our call. So one, we're long the dollar, all right? That's positive. Why? What quad are we in? Four, quad four. So we're long the dollar. Two, we're long USTs, treasuries. Three, we're long gold. Four, we, you know what equity positions we like. I'm not gonna go through that. On the short side, one, the best way to play that dollar short in quad four, here to here, is what? As an asset class, commodities, CRB, commodities. So oil's got a lot of bang for its buck. You look on the da underneath the hood, XLE, which is the commodity sector that's most got the highest beta and the most leverage to it. Okay, in quad four EM is a short. Emerging markets. I was actually long all three of those things a month ago. Not today, cowboys. Nope, 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 nope. Because we're not in the same quad. Okay, so again, this is why I don't sit there and say, well, I'm really interested in buying some silk or rubber today because I like the, uh, the, 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 the dynamics of the silk road being dysfunctional. Uh, no, I'm just not gonna do that. Commodities settle and trade in dollars, okay? 86% of the world's uh, commodities settle daily or actually in, in some cases a uh, higher, higher percentage in US dollars. So if my view is that the dollar is going up, then my view is gonna continue to be that the commodities go down.